Hello everyone, thanks for joining me. In this episode, I'm going to be building and installing the last of the hallway arches. Don't look away guys, building of the final arches for the hallway. So stay tuned and we're going to be getting this built and put up today. All right, guys. <laughs> um, so I made up the arch, as I mentioned, damn wire, um, yesterday. And then today I made up the keystones. So I'm going to put this last arch up tonight. Uh, I've just got to trim some gyprock because um, I 
accidentally put it too low so I've got to lift it up and uh, get it set in the right spot and then I can just go ahead and pick this up. Now if you remember uh, on the last one it was tight and I, I allowed 5 mil and then I lost 6 mil and all that stuff. Well I took off 10 for this so and also I took off the, the two sixes for the three mil MDF. So this one will actually go up with a slight gap. So I'll be able to like position it sideways, which will be awesome. Uh, and I'll be able to do it myself without any problems. So I'll, um, I'll get in and do the jip rock and then I'll put the arch up and it will be done. Um, I'm gonna, I'll throw some jip rock around uh, around the place if I've um, got some I've got enough sheets but I, I might be getting low on jip rock screws so uh, plasterboard screws so I'll see how I go with that um, but anyway it's an exciting night we're going to get this arch up so um, let's just do it hey Okay guys, time to fess up. When things go bad, they go bad. I've, um, I, made a, I made a little mistake of, um, well, there was a couple of little mistakes. When I put the, um, this side of the nib wall in, I had a mark that was like a temporary mark for something and I went and put it on, leveled it, and then I realized, oh damn, that's 20 mil bigger than the other arch. It's like, oh well, that's no big deal. No one's gonna know that that's 20 mil bigger. You can't see it and it's, it's not gonna matter. So that was one mistake. So I've overcome that. And then the other mistake was I, I measured the, uh, the plasterboard and when we put it all on, where it goes to, um, underneath the arch you can see there it's a hundred mil I did the what we call the hundred mil trick in the trade where you go oh yep 2100 and then when you mark it you mark it at two meters so so it's like all right I'll take that plasterboard down recut the arch and put it back up so I've done it and then I've forgotten that this wall here is 30 mil further that way. So now there's a 30 mil gap down the wall. So it's like, ah, uh, everything just gangs up on you. <laughs> um, but it won't matter at the end of the day, you know, it's like one thing that I've always been good at is working out how to get myself out of the poo. So, you know, you make a mistake. It's not, uh, you know, how many mistakes you make, it's how you get out of the mistakes. And, you know, I'll, I'm gonna put a piece up there, I'll tape that, and then I'll do my corner taping, and uh, that's gotta be all plastered up anyway, so that's not gonna matter at all. Um, it'll all be fine, but it's annoying. I don't like messing up. And the thing with messing up is, 
it then just takes longer to do the job, you know. Um, I, I'm still pretty excited about getting it up. It's put a bit of a dampener on it, but I'm still pretty excited to have this final arch up and I want to get this plasterboard up. I'm not going to do anything across there, but I will plasterboard um, straight across here now. And I'll plasterboard that. And then tomorrow night when I come home, I'm going to um, put all the mouldings up. And yeah, this will start to look all finished. Um, this bit of moulding here is going to look cool because it's going to come across and then return in itself. So that's going to look cool. Um, so yeah, it's, it's coming up nice, but oh, frustrations. And my boss, um, when I was an apprentice, he had a saying that he had a couple, um, life's a bitch and then you die. And there was another one I can't remember at the moment, but I thought it was so funny that my first Christmas working with him, I found key rings with these sayings on. And, um, and I know over the years that nothing ever goes smoothly. There's always something that happens. And that doesn't matter what you do in life. It, you might get something that just goes great. And I must admit, all those other archers and this, this whole job here was perfect. So I have had some wins. I shouldn't complain. So anyway, I just thought I'd fess up and let you know that, you know, I'm not this super tradesman that um, never makes mistakes. I make mistakes just like everyone else, but I know how to fix them up. So yeah, I'll, I'll push on and I'll get this plasterboard up and uh, it'll be, I'll, and I've got the keystone, so I'll put them up and that'll look good in itself. And then tomorrow night when I get the moldings up, that'll be the icing on the cake. Hi guys, uh, just going to give you a quick update. So um, Julie and I having a date night tonight. So we've got no uh, no kids in the house tonight. So we're going to hire a movie rather than go out to the cinema. We're going to hire a movie um, on um, uh, on Prime, and so uh, and we're going to go over to the pub and have a nice meal. So. I've got to get some work done quickly. She'll be leaving work shortly, so I've got about an hour to um, get things done. So what I want to do is I want to put this little bit of plasterboard up here and plasterboard around all those bits that are missing there. Uh, I've measured up the mouldings, so tomorrow at work I'll cut those mouldings up and then when I get home tomorrow night I can quickly fit them up there and I can start to do these corners which is pretty exciting because that's what makes it pop so then when you look down this hallway it's going to pop so so you guys are going to see this hall, hallway oh not not anywhere near complete because they haven't got skirtings and corners but it's got all, all the um all these areas will have a first coat of plaster on and all the um uh, all the arches and mouldings will all be on so yeah you'll get a real good look and idea of what it's going to look like so I better not talk for too long I better get into it and uh, get this work done so because as soon as Julie's home I'm not going to keep working I'm going to stop straight away jump in the shower so we can head over to the pub they've got some awesome burgers over there so yeah we're going to go over and have a burger and uh, hire the movie and we'll be set up for the night. So yeah, I'll get on with it and um, yeah, look forward to really getting this done so you can have a good look at it.
All right, that's better. Should be able to see me a bit better now. Um, yeah, so uh, I'll get some more screws tomorrow, get the plasterboard screwed up, get the moulding on, and uh, get the, uh, the last... Actually, I've got um, keystones to put it up on the, um, the kitchen arch as well. So I'll get those put up as well. Um, and then I'll start uh, doing all these corners. So Julie's going to be home pretty soon. So yeah, 6.30, she'll be home pretty soon. And uh, so I might jump in the shower uh, before she gets home. So um, that's about all I can tell you right now. So I'll just uh, leave it for the moment and I'll see you again tomorrow night. And we'll get in and we'll finish this up. I'll clean through, give you a good look. And, uh, and then, oh, uh, I'm working my way through the uh, pantry shelves as well. Um, I've got four of those made. It takes a bit of time because, you know, I, I can't stop doing my work to make up a few shelves, but you've got all the pieces that have to get glued together and, you know, put biscuit slots in them and, uh, yeah, and then, you know, I'm using up clamps that I need for my jobs at work. So um, I'm working my way through that though. I've measured up all of the shelves that I need for the pantry and uh, I'll get them all made up now, now that I know how many I need and what sizes they are. And I'm gonna get in and start finishing that pantry off. So uh, the rows that I showed you, uh, I'm thinking about putting in the vestibule. Uh, I'm not 100% sure on that though. I might get something a bit nicer, but uh, I wanna be nice over the weekend if I can get that chandelier hung uh, in the vestibule. It still seems a bit weird me calling it a vestibule, but hey, if that's what it is, I'm happy to call it that. So, um, yeah, it'd be nice if we could get that rose put up there, and I've got a bit of flushing to do and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, tomorrow night, it it's not a normal night because um, Julie's working late, uh, late night shopping here on Thursday nights. So uh, Julie has to work till nine o'clock. So she doesn't get home till about 10, 10.30. Uh, she's got a fair drive to get home. So um, what better time for me to get in and pump in some extra hours on the house. I do like to relax and spend some time with Julie during the night. I don't want to be working, you know, uh, the odd night, I don't mind, but I don't want to be working away while Julie's sitting by herself or doing something, whatever she might be doing by herself. I, I like to spend time with Julie each night. So yeah, that's why Thursday nights, uh, uh, but it's only every second. She doesn't work every Thursday nights, every second Thursday night. So yeah, I'll um, make it, take advantage of those Thursday nights when she is working. And uh, unless so sometimes I just enjoy going to bed at six o'clock and having an early night, catch up on some sleep and some rest. But um, yeah, that's, uh, that's well, whatever, you know, if I can get some extra hours in, I'll get some extra hours in. So yeah, I'll leave it at that for tonight and I'll be back here in the blink of an eye for you guys, but tomorrow night for me. All right, see you. Hi guys, back in the workshop again. Uh, I've been flat out today, building all these cupboards. So I thought, that's a good day's work. I'll go on and do some work for myself now. So I'm gonna make the mouldings up. I've, made, I've I had moulding material, but not quite enough. So I've got another couple of lengths of that that I need to make up. So I'm going to just show you what I do to make them up. They're pretty simple, but uh, they really add something to the arch. So I thought you might be interested in seeing what I do for those. So I'll get in and I'll make that up and then We'll get going home and I'll pick up those uh, plasterboard screws that I need and then I um, uh, can start finishing some things on and uh, f finishing some things up. And uh, if I get that done quick enough, I can get in and uh, edit this video tonight and get it out to you a bit early, which would be pretty cool. But uh, yeah, we'll see how we go with that. So yeah, won't mess around anymore. I'll just get and do the job.
sorry for interrupting. I just want to say, uh, if you're getting value out of this video, if you'd just like to hit that thumbs up, that would be awesome. Thanks very much.
Alrighty, so all the mouldings are made up. So um, it's pouring down outside. So I've got to get soaking wet loading this stuff up in the back of the ute, but that's okay. I'll get it loaded up and now I'll stop in at Bunnings and pick up my plasterboard screws and now I'll go home and uh, put these up, screw the chip rock in and do a little, a little, little bit of flushing and then I'll be able to uh, start working on editing it so I can get it out for you hopefully tonight, if not it'll be tomorrow night. So yeah, next thing you'll see, I'll be back at home. See you then. Alrighty guys, so back at home. Um, it's 7.30 now, so way later than what I wanted it to be, but that's okay. I'll get in and I'll screw that uh, plasterboard on and I'll put all the mouldings on. So I've got all the mouldings sitting down there, ready to go, and they look, that they've come up pretty nice. So I, I just tried one up there just to see how the size is and it's spot on, five mil gap, which is just good because I can cork that up on the corners it gets moulding with a little bit of plaster build up there anyway so that's all good so I'll get in I'll screw this plasterboard on and then we'll start having some fun getting the moulding up Well, that went up pretty nice. Uh, one thing I'll just point out, uh, I'm not sure if you can see it or not, there's a 10 mil gap on either side. That's so that when I sheet the plasterboard on this wall, it'll go in behind that rather than have to notch it around the molding. So yeah, it's, uh, it'll be a tight fit, but I, what I can do, I can just loosen this screw off slightly if it won't go in there, because it, it looks like uh, I've done the old thing instead of uh, making it 12 mil, I've made it 10. So I, all I need to do is loosen this screw off, put the plasterboard in, put that screw back in. So I'll, I'll do all that, like I'll get this sheeting done uh, before, um, before I fill these screw holes and finish it all. So I'm, I'm going to go around, I think I'm going to go around after I've got these up and um, paint these white just so that you know I can get the the real sort of uh, idea of how it's going to look. So yeah, so that's what I did there. Um, yeah, I'd say uh, I'm excited. I, you can probably tell because I'm banging on too much, but I am excited to get this up because this whole hallway is going to look complete. And how many times have I said that? Too many, but I am excited. And yeah, you'll see um, when I get this done and all the keystones sort of up. I've got just one more keystone to put there. I've actually got two to put up there in the kitchen as well but down here I've just got one more. But once I get that up uh, and I'll paint these white, oh man it's it's gonna go off. Go off like a frog in a sock.
Well, there we go. Arches up, mouldings on, keystones on, all the way down the hallway, and uh, I'm pretty pumped. So, um, Julie's going to come in on the weekend, and she's going to do some flushing. I'm going to show her how to do it, and she's going to give it a crack. So, it'll be a good video, I think, for um, you know showing how you can teach someone that's never done it before, and uh, and uh, assuming that she can she's going to do a good job uh you know then anyone who wants to give it a go uh should feel confident in the fact that if you learn how to do it and have a go you'll start off a bit rough and before you know it you'll do a beautiful job so i'm pretty confident she's going to do a good job but she wants to get in and help me with some more uh or help me with the renovating so I said, do you want to learn how to flush? And she was like, yeah, that'd be awesome. So uh, we, we love working together. So, you know, wh whatever it might be, making beer or um, making spirits or um, uh, working out in the yard or whatever, whatever it is, we have a good time when we work, t when we work together, you know, put the music on and have a chat while we're working. It's like when we drive somewhere. You know, we, we don't really listen to music too much. It's more music's on in the background and we're just yakking the whole way. When we go to Julie's parents' place, it's, a, it's about an hour and a quarter, hour and a half's drive. And uh, we can just quite easily just talk to each other the whole way there and back without running out of things to talk about. So that's pretty cool. So, yeah, we're going to do that on the weekend. So... I'm going to get in and edit this video so you can have a look at it. But on the weekend, uh, we're going to have Cooper here as well. So, um, you know, there'll be three of us possibly doing some work. Um, once these corners are in here, these chamfers, imagine how that's going to look. Where, when you've got the, you look down there. It, I keep saying, imagine when that gets the keystone or keystone on. Oh, imagine when it gets the moulding on. Oh, imagine with the when it gets the chamfers on the corners. They're all things that make it look really good. So, um, but the chamfers are now almost the last thing uh, that I can do to dress this whole place up. Apart from obviously, uh, you've got skirtings. Um, and cornice and all that stuff still to go. Then you got light fittings. We're leaning towards getting a wall mounted light. So there and there, uh, may put a third one, although we're gonna have the chandelier, which I'm hoping to fit that this weekend. So um, we probably don't need one there, but here and here uh, we'll have a, um, a wall mounted light of some sort so I've got to look into see what's available there um, yeah and I, uh, I'll <clears throat> pick up some more plasterboard um, probably um, yeah on, on Saturday I'd say I'll pick up some more plasterboard so I can be putting plasterboard up so you know I've got all of these walls both sides to do so you know, I mean, that's I'm not going to get enough to do all that. I've got one and a half sheets left, so that's going to do um, maybe th these are three sheets high. So, you know, it's um, 12 foot or uh, 3600, as we like to say. Um, so, yeah, it's, it needs a heap of plasterboard, but it'd be good, it'd be good to uh, get that on and start getting it all flushed and then once it's flushed I think then it'll be like a driving force then to get it all sanded and undercoated because I can undercoat this whole hallway and there's not that much work to do. The cornice I can get later on but I can flush all the ceiling there's not that much to do on the ceiling but um, yeah, I can, uh, so I'll have to bring the uh, scaffold in here, which uh, maybe I'll do it on a ladder, just get up and down on the ladder. 
I didn't think about that. I should have done it, should have flushed the um, ceiling before I built these walls so I could just wheel the scaffold all the way down, but oh well, it doesn't matter. We've got a funny little video here for you. Lily, the wonder dog, yeah this one, she's one today. So we're having a birthday party for her. So you can get a birthday party kit from, where did you get it from? Um, pet Barn. Oh, Pet Barn. So Pet Barn do a birthday party kit for, the, for your pets. So we've got a little cake. It's, it's, it's a dog bone with a candle. Um, and she's got some presents. And, uh, and a party hat. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, let's do some big fun. I don't know how long this is going to last for that pet. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Get it with a chin. Let me settle it. Put it under a chin first. Lily, um, hey. Put your party hat on. You're going to put your party Because we need a picture. Come on. Right. You're not in trouble. Look, hey. You can have your little... Shh. Hey. All right. Hey, <laughs> well, this is this. Okay, maybe no party hat. But we can blow the candle out. that she got was some sunglasses on a rope. Think how cool are they? And a toy birthday cake that says, it's my bark day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and she got and she got little lolly bags. And little lolly bags. <laughs> Hang on, we're the guests, we should have the lolly bags. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to try one? No. no. I'll try one. I'll do one. No, I'm not. Well, they look yummy. I'll probably be bland as hell. Oh, right. Have a choppy. I like it. Don't overcommit. They're <laughs> good. Actually, my ones aren't too bad. You uh, want one? I'll try a chocolate one. You want a choppy one? Cheers. We're eating the dog chocolates. <laughs> no one tell us in the comments that it actually kills humans. They're pretty much tastes the same as normal chocolate. Yeah, yeah it's very good. All right. smell good. I did get a picture of it. It smells good. It's my chocolate. It smells good. I smell. Oh, there's only a few of them, otherwise I'd eat one. They look good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's more in the packet. Okay. So, got some chocolates and these like choc chip biscuits, they look really good. I'm, I'm having to work really hard to not eat them. I love my biscuits, even if they are dog ones. <laughs> no sneak peeks on the video. It's about to upload. Alright, I just pressed the go button on the video. It's uploading right now. So that'll be the end of this video now. So don't forget to hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed it, that would be great. And it'd be really great if you haven't subscribed, if you uh, consider subscribing. Uh, this, this kind of stuff where, you know, we're getting some really cool visual stuff happening uh, it's happening all the time on this channel, you know, with these arches, it all came together in about three weeks, you know, so, um, yeah, so consider subscribing, and uh, if you want to comment, that would be great. Uh, now, I know that I've fallen behind a little bit, and I, 
I don't know, maybe it's um, just that, you know, a bit of inexperience, but I, I see something pop up and I'm not in the, you know, in the position to write a comment back straight away to reply, but then when I go back and look for it, I can't find it. So it's really frustrating me and I don't want you guys to think that, you know, you're not important enough to uh, reply back to because, you know, the, uh, you guys that do comment should, uh, and I reply to, you should see that I reply back pretty quickly and, uh, you know, but I don't always. So there, there's been, I know there's been some that have been a few weeks old <clears throat> and, um, you know, and then I've finally, uh, you know, done a reply. Uh, I, I don't like it. It's not the situation that is ideal, but you know, sometimes that's all I can do. So don't, don't give up and think that I, I can't be bothered because you know, I, it is really important to me and I do really enjoy talking to you guys. So, you know, if you, if you don't get a reply, just don't, don't write me off and go, yeah, he doesn't reply because you know, I, I do, it is, it does frustrate me and upset me a bit that, you know, I, I know that there's a reply there, a uh, comment there somewhere, and I can't find it. You know, it's uh, it's just one of those things. I do try, and I, it is important to me. I just want you to know that. So, yeah, comment, subscribe. What else we got? Uh, like um, and share. Yeah, don't forget share. Uh, if you enjoy it and you think someone else, some, another friend of yours or, um, you know, uh, a group of friends on your social media might get something out of it, share it there. That would be really awesome too. You know, it's all good stuff for me. And, and you know, I, I think, uh, you know, if you know someone that's interested in this kind of stuff and you share it, I think, you know, they would, they would probably get a kick out of it just like you do. So, yeah, share it. That would be awesome. And uh, that's about all I can say. I think I've run out of all the things that, you know, I'd like you guys to do, but obviously just do what you feel comfortable doing. Don't just go and hit thumbs up and do it as a robotic thing. Just if you like it, give it a thumbs up. That's all I ask. That would be great. All right. So uh, until, uh, well, this is going up uh, tomorrow night and then there'll be another video, as I said, trying to get two up over the, at the end of the week. So there'll be another video uh, probably Sunday night of the work that uh, Julie's gonna be helping me do with the flushing and uh, whatever we get Cooper. Actually, I'm going to do a job for my mum. Uh, so I might just do a bit of filming there and uh, show you what I'm helping her with. So there will be some, something coming out on Sunday. Um, so until that video, Thanks very much for watching and supporting the channel. It really does mean a lot to me. And you guys make sure you take care and be safe. And I look forward to getting the next video out to you. Cheers.